Hello and welcome back to the cove with more surviving Mars Green Planet. So uh, we are back and uh, so am I. I've been off at uh, PAX Australia for this last weekend so uh, yeah I have had a couple of days off. Unfortunately uh, my last series Sinua Sacrifice went a little bit quick and uh, we ended up here a little bit sooner than I expected but either way hopefully I didn't make any uh, terrible decisions that we cannot recover from and we can make our way forwards with ease. So either way, we have uh, started up our first dome. Looks like we've got eight out of 10 polymers. We have the, enough for those, uh, the ones that we need left over. Uh, concrete, it's gonna be close, but we'll start working on that soon. We do have more being produced throughout the day and night. So that is all well and good. And then at some point soon, we're going to end up sending off our uh, rocket ship to head back to Earth for a few colonists. So either way, let's go ahead and uh, get up and running. We do have, let's see, Sterling Generator is open. Uh, that is open at the moment, I think. Yes, it is. Okay, so we'll if we close that, we'll lose out on 10 power production. Uh, we could make up with a couple of large solar panels. That would mean we don't need a polymer as soon. Yeah, it's not the end of the world yet. So let's just see. Uh, deteriorated buildings will need to be serviced before they can maintain use again. Yeah, we're at 50%. So I think... I think it's not the craziest to try and build up a couple more solar panels. So let's go ahead and get that done. We have plenty of metal, so that's not a big deal. Uh, we will need... Oh, you know what? We also have a life support machine. We should double check much power that's going to require now uh, that's a base consumption of two for the moxie okay and the oxygen tank doesn't need anything so we need at least three large solar panels for us to make up the difference now uh, let's pop one here and we'll build another one right next to that and one more for good measure i say yeah, that should be good so let's pop that there uh, that'll all tie into the network, and then we can close this and avoid the uh, maintenance cost quite this soon. Because uh, at the moment, this is the last of our polymers. There's only enough for our there's only enough for our first dome. So yeah, that'll take us a little bit of time. Unfortunately, I don't think uh, we have the ability to build any polymer factories as of yet. Uh, let's just double check. Yeah, so we have a polymer factory here. Uh, produces polymer from water and fuel. Yeah, that's relatively expensive and we need people to work that. Yeah, so that is something that we'll need to work on in the future. Uh, let's also double check. If we have more polymers, yeah, that will give us the ability to build a power accumulator. Uh, we do need to start making a little bit of excess uh, power. That way we can uh, make sure that nothing goes wrong too quickly in the future. I think that'll be another good thing for us to focus on soon. Alright, but either way, it does look like we have enough fuel here, but I think, if memory serves, we have some technology. Uh, not superior br uh, breakthrough, but Martian engines for less fuel. <sighs> you know what, it's probably... Let's see. Still going to take another full day. That'll mean it'll basically be the end of Soul 7 when we launch off. You know what? I don't think that is going to be good enough. Let's just go ahead and send that off. Uh, do we have any more exports that we can send? No, it'll just have to be the uh, couple of rare, min rare metals that we have got from our refinery. All right then. Well then, uh, let's go ahead and send you back to Earth. That should do very well. All right. Uh, actually, hang on a second. Have we... Hmm. Yeah, all those drones are close enough. They should be within range of that drone hub, so we're not going to miss out on any more. Uh, we will reassign those that are left Research behind. Complete. Milestone achieved. All right, and uh, that is a new milestone. So an extra 250 science. That is excellent. Uh, launch a rocket from Mars. And then... Yeah, unfortunately, we weren't the first to find water, but either way, we're still doing all right. Uh, let's go ahead and check out what technologies are now available. 
And so that was superior cables. They no longer cost us anything and we won't lose any power. And they won't get broken, which is fantastic. This early on, that is super, super useful. Uh, we could pick up potentially some geologists and engineers uh, bonus performance. That could be useful in the future. We could also start working on some terraforming. But I think for now we should probably queue something up just so we can start to see what we are going to need to research and uh, start things up and running. Alright, so uh, let's speed up a little bit of time. That should be fun. You can uh, zip away. Uh, let's check in on our RC transport. You've been gathering materials. I believe we have a few more. Uh, whereabouts were they? I think it was... Wait, you know what? There's some over here that's nearby. Yeah. Now, let's go ahead and gather those resources. And then... Where were the remainder? Oh, looks like that's all of them. All right, but that's good enough. That'll uh, be good for you. Our RC Explorer is still making that passive science, which is excellent, but I don't think we have any more anomalies for us to focus on. No. The other ones are kind of out of the way. And what is going on here? Hang on a second. What's going on there? Ah, uh, that looks rather dangerous. Is that like a fissure and uh, like gas is escaping from below the crust? Because if that is, that is, uh, that is a particularly nasty thing. Alright, but either way, uh, let's see. All the drones seem to have uh, shuffled over to the drone hub, which is good. Uh, they're fairly busy, so that must mean... Is this all the polymers? All of the... Uh, all of the, uh, what do we call it, metals, and just a little bit short on concrete. Uh, so that's fine for now. Uh, sure, we don't need that tutorial. Thank you very much. What's getting shut down you? Okay, so you've run out of power. Uh, let's go ahead and turn off... Hmm, how much power do we need here? Ten? Well, that doesn't take power. This doesn't take power either. Hey, you know, let's turn off the moisture evaporator for now. That'll be an extra five. And then... Hmm. There's not really much we can do there. Hey, you know, let's turn off the... Oh, no, we need the concrete. Ah, it doesn't look like that there is a viable way of us uh, getting enough power for that right now. Okay, well, you know what? Moisture evaporator, you can go right back on. Uh, that'll have to be good enough. Uh, we're still slowly increasing our capacity. Yes, yeah, stored water is at 38. That's not bad. Capacity of 100. Yeah, that'll be useful as we get this up and running. And, oh, would you believe it? We're now constructing our dome. That is fantastic news. All right. So with that out of the way, let's go ahead and turn this off on the third shift. Uh, we'll keep this up and running throughout the night nowadays. Uh, we'll see how that goes. Uh, we do need more rubble to consume. Okay, that's good. Uh, that is doable. In fact, milestone achieved. you know what? Uh, okay, so milestone is achieved. That's fantastic. An extra dome gives us 500 science. That is not bad. It doesn't have life support, but that's okay. Now, uh, what I'm thinking of doing is... Uh, oh, Go ahead and tie this into the network. Uh, let's go from... I don't know. Here to there. That should be sufficient. I think that'll count. No, and now it just needs uh, some water pipes. Okay, so we can figure that out. Uh, life support, piping. Let's go from here and tie you into... The main tower, I suppose. Actually, you know what? That's a little bit shorter. That's better. Yeah. As long as we can uh, get rid of uh, potential uh, leaks, that is a good thing. Uh, we'll leave that there. Uh, it still says the dome has no power, so I guess we'd need to build some more power cables. Uh, let's build a little bit more. Uh, let's go from here to there. There we are. Okay. So that should have enough power. 
Uh, what do we need? We need 15 power to make this run. Ooh, okay, so batteries are going to be a necessity. Okay, so with that in mind... Yeah, we're either going to have to turn off some of these things that night to get us the 15 power, or we can start building up our batteries, and I think that that's probably what we do. So, let's go ahead and we'll go to a resupply and use a large supply pod. Got a couple of these for free, which is rather nice. Uh, we'll build up maybe a small stockpile of polymers. Uh, we'll also need a little bit of food for the people when we arrive until we get our farms up and running. Uh, you know what, let's just make that 20 food for now. Uh, prefab building, what can we do? We're only relatively large ones. We could go for an extra sterling generator. It's not the end of the world. Hmm. And you know what, we probably could make some polymers relatively uh, easily. We have ample uh, ample fuel at the moment. You know what? Maybe we come back for that. We don't even have people there, so let's just hold off on that. Uh, that'll also need power, though. So I'm thinking... We could either go for an extra sterling generator, or maybe we just build up a huge stockpile of food. You know what? One more sterling generator is probably not the end of the world. We'll go ahead and do that. And uh, then with what we have left, let's go ahead and increase our food total. Yeah, just to make sure that we're far from starving at any given point. 35 should be sufficient. Only $680 million. Uh, let's go ahead and launch that. We'll also get a free, uh, a couple of free uh, metal as well when we break that down when it arrives. Alright, so that's that. Let's see what's going on here. Yeah, desired amount is zero. You should be... No, we'll try and keep you up and running. I guess we'll have to turn this off for now over the night shift. Uh, yeah, if we're going through all of our concrete waste, it's kind of uh, defeats the purpose. Alright, Martian engines. That'll save us a little bit of fuel. There we are. The scarcity of Martian-made rocket fuel options has made it for our first true contribution towards rocket engine efficiency which is good all right so what have we got here uh destroy allows the clearing of salvaged and destroyed buildings that's probably a necessity at some point but not right now i think we go and uh, we'll chuck in another social tech that should be good all right now it does look like we are still outsourcing for a little bit longer but not for too long uh should be a couple of days. Oh, and we're out of power again. All right. Um. Hmm. Uh, we need to figure this out. Let's go ahead and you should be up and running. That'll still put us two below. Let's go ahead and... Uh, this building has already been turned off. Yep, that's fine. Of course, Moxies. We didn't think about that now, did we? No. Uh, we also do need Polymers for this as well, which I should have looked at before, but I guess we are where we are. Um, now, right now, I don't think we need fuel, so let's turn this off for now. Uh, that should be fine. Yeah, that'll also let the water increase. That's... Uh, yeah, one building is not working. That's what we wanted. Well, not exactly, but it'll have to do. Oh, and we have 20 power. Okay, so we can get this dome up and running. Uh, so if we were to do that, that leaves us with three in excess. Uh, this will cost us... Uh, how much How much power? Oh, five. Okay, so that's not quite good enough. Uh, yeah, when these polymers land, we're going to have to build up that battery straight away. Sector yeah, that's scan. a non-negotiable. All right, so either way, there's some more scanning done. Let's go ahead and go with... Uh, what do we need? You know, let's just slowly work our way down. Maybe we can find a couple more... A couple more anomalies for us to scan. That would be very nice if at all possible. Uh, we do only have six fuel, so that's not a stack... But uh, I guess it could be a whole stack worse. 
Uh, we also need, of course, our, uh, where is it? Our little uh, drone buddy here. Our, uh... hang on a second, I thought you were loading resources before. Oh, I think I clicked the wrong button. All right, well, that's unfortunate. Uh, let's see, can we find any more of those minerals? Uh, that was in which area? There's 40 over here. Okay, so let's go. Yeah, we'll hold down shift and we will queue up another task. And then... Yeah, that'll have to do. Alright, so either way. Uh, that'll be useful. Uh, let's see, 75% of the way back here, that is good. Uh, you're busy 91% of the way back to Earth. Exporting a little bit of uh, rare minerals, that should be nice. That'll be a little bit of extra cash, which never goes astray. And it looks... Oh, here we go. Outsourcing is funding still occurring. Uh, well, yeah, and uh, there is our funding. So, right, let's go ahead and tell you to land. That's fine. We'll drop you... Uh... Hmm. Go ahead and pop you there i think let's just double check yeah that's well within range uh just had to double check for a second uh, let's go ahead and drop you here uh let's check in on our science just for uh sake we've got some outsourcing still which i'm trying to remember where we got that from i feel like maybe oh that's right maybe that's the event we went and did it earlier yeah that could be the thing all right so we want to go ahead and spend a little bit more money. We have $4.4 .4 billion. That's pretty solid. Uh, oh, and we have to wait a little bit before we can... Okay, I guess we have to wait a little bit before we can do any more. So that's good enough, I suppose. Uh, could be a whole stack worse. Uh, sure, we're out of power right now, but that's all right. Let's go ahead and turn this thing off and where is our rocket I, has that made it back to earth yes okay so it has all right then so i think at that point then uh, before we do anything let's go ahead and have a bit of a look at our dome and see about building some bits and pieces so we're definitely going to need some living quarters that's for sure uh we don't need a school at this stage a research lab could be good uh, anything to do with a farm, we need food supply fairly early on if possible. Hmm. Yeah, this is going to be a little bit tricky. Uh, so we don't have any domes, we're not going to be doing any of this at that stage. Uh, we could go ahead and flatten out some of these features. That would give us a little bit of extra waste rock, which I think we will end up doing. In fact, you know what? I uh, will go ahead and say flatten, and we will start here, and we'll start working our way through all of that. Uh, that'll give us a whole stack of extra waste rock to deal with, and we will make this a low priority. So if the drones have something other to do, that's fine, but uh, this will at least uh, help us get a few more rare minerals as well. Uh, let's go ahead and build... Where are we? Have we not invented farming yet? Homes, nurses, uh, yet yeah. nurseries, living quarters, school, space bars, diners, infirmaries, gyms, roses. Oh dear. Uh, hang on a second. Life support. Farm. Whew. Okay. Good. Good, 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 good. We found one of those. That's, that's ideal. Let's go ahead and plant that in there. We'll get the drones to work on that. Uh, we also need to have... a well, one drone should be more than enough. Uh, sorry, uh, one farm should be more than enough. Uh, we could also do a hydroponic farm. I don't think that's necessarily as good as a uh, good farm. That will cost us a little bit of water though, so we do need to potentially build a few more moist vaporators. Uh, let's see mean to click that let's go uh let's see what else could we need yeah we're going to need a living quarters a living complex i think 
Yeah, this is better than the living complex, but right now I think we might need to just go with the uh, cheap and easy way to do things. We'll go... How small are these? One, two, three, four, five. I think that's probably enough for 20, if I remember correctly. Let's just double check. If we do a passenger rocket, we can take 12. Oh, okay. You know what? That is not as good as I thought it was. I thought it was up 20, but I guess that's maybe a uh, tech we can unlock. All right. Well, then, if that's the case, let's not... Uh, whoop. Let's not waste uh, any space. A living complex is probably good enough. Uh, we'll go ahead and we'll build one of those right about uh, there. And then what else can we build? Well, a research lab would obviously be good. Unfortunately, we don't have any. Oh, no, we do have a couple of uh, electronics, but that is expensive. Um, hmm. Playground's not necessary, neither is the school just yet. I think we go for some services. Uh, we're going to need, first of all, a... We're going to need a grocer. That's going to give them access to food. Kind of a uh, necessity. We then also need to build a diner. That would also help out a bit. Uh, let's go and pop that there. Uh, what else could we do? We need... Yeah, an infirmary is going to be fairly important. We need to make sure that people's health is uh, decent. Uh, let's bring that over to... That section there. Maybe put in a nice little garden at some point. And what else do we need? Well, that's kind of the main stuff done. We could go ahead and get some exercise and social. That wouldn't be bad. Uh... We have the infirmary. I think maybe we go ahead and... Yeah, we're not doing any of the art stores yet. That's ridiculous. Same with electronics. We need... Those are much wider uh, buildings for us. I think we'll go... Oh, I'm tempted to go with an amphitheater just for a little bit of extra service comfort. That would be nice. Some social relaxation and luxury is good to have. Um, but I think a gym could also be good for their health and uh, overall. That is kind of chunky. But you know what? We don't have those. Uh, yeah, we'll go with the exercise. We'll get that done. I think it's going to be the last one that we do. From this point on, I think we'll try and save some of the extra room for... Uh, oh, I don't know. Maybe some uh, extra buildings, some extra jobs. Uh, let's chuck in a... Small garden. I think that is fine. Let's go with the... I don't know. The, uh... Oh, that's a huge garden. I wasn't expecting it to be quite that big. Uh, let's just go with a regular size. No? A small garden, I guess. I don't have to do... Let's, uh... Hang on a second. There we are. Pop that where we can. That should be fine. Uh, we have enough water for now, but that's, uh always subject to change let's make sure that we pick up all of that food we will scrap that for some extra salvage yeah this should be fine in fact uh i think we could even go ahead and since we've got this sorted out and we have plenty of food we just go ahead and we will uh start picking up some applicants as soon as i put some food storage right beside the dome so uh we never have to go too far for that uh, let's pop that by this door, and uh, the desired mount is all of them, all the time. Alright, so let's go ahead and check out our rocket. So, we need passengers, and we have a couple of choices to make. So, uh, first of all, I think we'll go ahead and have a look at who has been selected, and if there's anything we need to get rid of. Uh, so we don't want any elderly, that is for certain, so we'll pick out any of those. Um, middle-aged may not be the best. Uh, let's see. No one's too old, but you know what, I think... Yeah, you know what, I think uh, this might take me a couple of minutes to go through, so I will pause it right here, pick out a couple of colonists, and uh, I'll show you the results.
Alrighty, so I have spent a couple of minutes and I have figured out who we are bringing. So we're going to go for a fairly 50-50 split. We have some, uh, yes, yeah, six male and female, which is fantastic. After all, we do need to have a decent birth rate if we are to uh, inhabit this planet. Now we have a couple of botanists, which is good for our farm. We have a couple of medics, which is going to be super useful as far as our... Uh, medicine is concerned a couple of geologists to work on the uh, the mining that's not too far by us um, an engineer and uh, someone with some with no specialization which means they can work anywhere and they won't have too many uh, penalties for doing so uh, we've also gone for a lot of uh, yeah fit uh, what is this yeah uh, fit and sexy uh, qualities that we're looking for we want a high birth rate uh, a lot of composed, a little bit of nerdiness, and uh, even a few loners, which is pretty good early on, because uh, having a population of less than 30 is a guarantee for quite some time, and uh, we will get some nice bonuses. So, either way, let's go ahead and launch our colonists towards our planet. Uh, there is zero spaces for residents at our colony. That is a-okay. We are going to do it anyway. We have everything being built so it's not going to be the end of the world uh we'll go ahead and realistically i don't think we need to concern ourselves with much uh oh wait polymers for the open air gym i did not think that through um nor the battery you know what it's already been turned on well we don't have a choice it's already been built that's my bad uh if you saw that before i did that uh, is my mistake also, too, before I forget, we do need to build that power accumulator. That is also a uh, desperate necessity. Otherwise, we could be in some major danger. Uh, let's go ahead and rotate it around this way. We'll pop it here. Uh, actually, you know what? We'll go place it there. So that should be fine. Uh, we need to get that up and running. In fact, you know what? We'll make that a highest priority just so we can get a little bit of extra power there. Now, the good news is none of our lines can break anymore so it's only about the amount of power that we have we're not going to be losing any uh excesses through uh bad accidents or anything but again we do need enough power to be able to get through the night which is going to be quite quite crucial all right so we are making 18 power more than necessary that is fine uh that'll get this up and running we need to we need a bit of capacity so that should be all right uh let's just see now i think we have our rover here you are still collecting resources all right so uh we'll have you drop them off relatively soon in fact no i'm about to forget let's just go ahead and tell them to unload resources right over there uh so that'll be good uh food that'll get shuffled about when ready but again we have uh a few things to sort out like our housing our farm the farm should be really good we'll go ahead and get that up and running we'll need we'll need to start with what do we need uh let's see growth time is short consumes a bit of water low yield potatoes that gives us a very solid amount of uh food reduces the oxygen consumption and decreases the soil quality though what could we do that increases soil quality okay soybeans all right that's what we're going to go for uh five days 40 food that's not bad increases yeah this is our this is our uh, chosen food of choice for the first couple of days it's going to be a little uncomfortable but it is what it is uh now we are also a little bit short on concrete i am hoping yeah i am hoping we can get a little bit more because what I want to do is I want to set up a landing pad uh, let's see infrastructure I believe yes there we are uh, oh and even a trade pad oh okay offers resources for export to other colonies on Mars rival colonies will send trade offers if only if important export resources are set accessible for rockets belonging to other colonies ah, very nifty okay well no, we're going to go for a standard landing pad. That is, uh, yeah, that is sort of the important thing for us to focus on. We'll go ahead and we'll pop that. 
put this up over there. That should be fine. We'll go relatively close because I don't see us uh, needing anything else. In fact, that uh, second. There we go. Yeah, we'll pop that over there. Hang on a second. We need to make sure that the ramp goes in the right direction. I almost forgot. Uh, yeah, this will be sufficient. We'll leave a couple of hexes just so there is a little bit of room for us to build things through in the future, but that'll be all right. Uh, we'll set that as a relatively low priority. Uh, residents, we will have less than we could have room for. All right, and uh, just a small garden there, a, an infirmary. That's almost done. In fact, let's make that a high priority just in case. And I think that should be about all. So, yeah, as we approach night time, that's going to mean... Yeah, we're out of waste rock. That's all right. I guess we go ahead and... That is all right. Uh, concrete extractor. Yeah, I think we're just going to have to stay with what we've got at the moment. We have plenty of power. We're not losing anything, which is remarkably good. Uh, we will go ahead and turn this on. Uh, yeah, that'll be fine. We have a couple of buildings that aren't working, but that's only because we have to have our people arrive. But I think that is where we're going to call it for today. We'll come back with the arrival of the first people on Mars, and uh, we will see how that goes. So if you do want to see more, be sure to hit that subscribe button. It is the best way to catch all future content, and I'll see you next time. So until then, thank you for tuning in to The Leviathan Cove. This is The Leviathan, signing out.